Hello friends, I am Gunnar Madhivanan, Current Affairs Faculty at Office of the IAS Academy. In this video, we will be discussing our 157th Current Affairs Atlas topic that is regarding GST Council. Friends, GST Council, it is a constitutional body under Article 279A. It is a constitutional body. GST Council decides every matter related to GST. This council is headed by finance minister. It is headed by finance minister, union government finance minister. Okay. When you look into the members of GST council, finance minister is a member and minister of state, minister of state under finance ministry, minister of state under finance ministry is also a member. So, two members will be representing central government, finance ministers of states, finance ministers of states, okay, finance minister of states plus finance ministers of union territories which has assembly, Pondicherry, uh, Delhi, okay, so finance ministers from states and UTs, finance minister and minister of state under finance ministry, they all put together, they comprise the GST council. See, there are other members also, but it is only these members, they have voting rights. Okay. Here, any decision regarding GST, that will be decided based on majority consensus. Now, you may ask, sir, central government is represented by two individuals, but states and union territory put together we have 30 plus members, it is obvious that whatever states decide, that will be the decision. In order to avoid such lopsidedness, here in GST council, differential voting weightage will be given. For central government, for finance minister and minister of state from central government, they two put together, they will have one third voting weightage. Here all the finance ministers and uh, from states and UTs, they all put together, they will have two-third voting weightage. Now you may ask, sir, even now, two-third voting weightage is for states and UTs, right? So their decision will be final, no. In GST council, to take a decision, we need three-fourth majority support. That means, Central government all alone cannot take a decision. State governments and UT all alone cannot take a decision. We need a cooperation between central and the state governments. That is why we say GST council is an example for cooperative federalism. So only based on the cooperation between central and state government, we can take a decision on GST council. The minimum attendance required to conduct the meeting, that is called as quorum. The minimum attendance required is 50 percentage. Minimum 50 percent of members should be present to conduct a meeting and to take a decision. So, what kind of decisions they will be taking in this GST council that we will see. So, matters related to goods and services which should be subjected to GST, exempted from GST, any model laws on GST this council will decide, apportionment of revenue that is how much revenue should go to center and state that will be decided by this council threshold limit. So, till what, till which, uh, you know, earnings GST is not uh, imposed, only when you cross 40 lakh rupees of turnover GST is imposed, like that the threshold limit when GST will be imposed, the threshold income limit will be decided by this GST council. Tax rates, uh, special rate under GST 5%, 12%, 18%, 28%, 28%, for gold it is 3%, like that tax rates will be decided by this GST council. Special provisions related to Himalayan states, hilly states will be decided by GST council. Any other matter related to GST, it will be decided by GST council. And the date from which petroleum will be brought under GST, that will also be decided by GST council. Right? So, based on our discussion, I have given an MCQ, find out the right answer and give it in the comment section. So, 600 MCQs covering uh, current affairs from December to April and economic survey budget 
discussion videos if you are interested you can buy by clicking the link given in the description box june to november mcqs you want you can click and buy the mcqs which is given in the description box i have given the features of my exclusive current affairs program if you are interested you can go through any doubt you can make a call to the number given here right friends tomorrow i will meet you with another important interesting exciting similar topic till then bye take care